Brooke here from Clear Creek Farm. Uh, I've been asked to do a video on 10 most used things on the farm. Um, basically what we use on a daily to a weekly basis. So come along with me as I show you our 10 most used things. number one used thing on the farm is my cart, my manure cart. I use this every day, multiple times a day. Um, without this thing, I'd be pretty lost. And then over here, some of the things I'm going to say are going to sound redundant. Um, going to sound like common sense stuff that anybody would use. But you'd be really surprised at how often you've gone to someone's house and they just don't have the necessary materials. I mean, even the common sense, little piddly stuff, they just, they just, they're just not organized, they just don't have it. So my second probably most used thing is obviously the pitchfork, or the manure fork. Uh, I use that not just in the barns, but like in the yard and stuff. I use it as like a yard rake. Um, they work really well for um, just raking up leaves and stuff like that in the yard. And then the scoop shovel, which I also use in the barn. And then a push broom, which is absolutely essential. Um, the push broom is, is great for sweeping up the barn floors, which I'm a strickler about. I don't like dirty floors. It drives me crazy. <clears throat> the next thing is probably the uh, fitting stand. You know, we use this obviously for hoof trimming. Um, if we have to treat a goat, we'll get them out, put them on the stand, um, and then fitting them for show and all that stuff. So if you don't have one of these, I suggest getting one. This one I believe is the aluminum from Valley Vet. Um, I think I wanna say it runs around like 350 to 400. They pay for themselves within the first six months. So don't, don't be like, oh my gosh, it's so expensive, I can't afford that. You can, because without one of these, you're really limited on what you can do with your goats. And then the last thing in this barn is a chain. Uh, definitely use this every day now that Grace's weather is here. He's gonna get tied up to this every day when they work him and I clean his pen. Um, and this is awesome for lead training, new kids. So this is definitely one of the big, the big ones that I use all the time. Now we're in the feed room and I'll show you some of the things that I use in here. Obviously a good feed bucket. I have two of them. Um, these buckets are invaluable. I mean, really any bucket will work. Just make sure you have a good one. This one I've had for about 15 years. Yeah, 15 year old bucket. Um, it's pretty special to me, a bucket, special. It's kind of crazy. But, um, yeah, so this bucket's really, I, I definitely would miss that bucket if something were ever happened to it. <clears throat> a good feed scoop. Make sure that you have a good feed scoop. I mean, any scoop will really work. We're not fancy, we're using a saucepan. But I do know from previously weighing it that it holds exactly one pound of feed leveled off. Um, so that is something that is a really must have. Just find something that works for you and um, go ahead and use it. Another thing that's really important to have, this is law and order around here. It's my stick. Um, I've seen so many and I've heard of so many horror stories of people getting run over and trampled at feeding time. Um, so basically this is my safety insurance. Make sure that if I have the stick they won't run me over. I'm not going to get trampled. I'm not going to get a horn in the thigh. So make sure you have something like this to carry with you when you go in to feed. The only time I use it is when I go to feed. Other than that I don't use it. 
Um, it's just, like I said, it's basically just to keep me safe while they're going in a feeding frenzy. Um, it's basically just a sawed off broom handle. Um, we used it to uh, do the driveway a couple years ago, and so it's got a bunch of like tar on the end of it. But um, yeah, this is definitely an invaluable tool. It's not something like I don't beat them with it or anything like that. It's just basically, hey, look at I got the stick back off, and they do. So the next thing in here that I'm going to talk about is a digital scale. <clears throat> we use this a lot, especially on kids. Um, well, if we have it on the floor and then the readout is up there on the wall. So that way we can bring them in here and look at what they weigh. And this is really invaluable, especially when we have weathers and we're trying to make sure that they gain a certain amount of weight and we're trying to, we're trying to um, reach minimum rate gain and all that good stuff. So a digital scale is really, really invaluable tool to have. Uh, so the next thing is our dry erase board that we have. Um, the type of feeds, all the pen numbers on it and then what we're giving each pen and then any notes over here on this side. Uh, we have a girl that comes in and feeds for us a couple times a week. So if we have any changes, we write it on the board and she comes in and looks at the board to see um, if there's any changes. Um, this has been really helpful because I do most of the feeding and even Jason has to look at this board when he comes to feed on the weekends, usually just in the mornings because um, I don't always have the best communication forget to tell oh by the way I changed pen number three to this many scoops so um, this has been super helpful in determining uh, who gets fed what and make sure that there's no you know accidents make sure that nobody's getting too much or too little um, the next thing in here is the refrigerator uh, so we keep all of our um, Cold meds, we had a bunch of milk in here from when I was feeding the bottle babies earlier. Um, this has basically made it so I don't have to keep all these meds in my refrigerator in the house. So this has been really nice to have out here. And then of course there's a microwave up there and a blender for when we have to grind up boluses. Um, so this whole package right here has been great. And then the last thing I'll talk about in here is my reference guide on what to treat animals with. Um, most of the stuff is in my head. I don't really need help, but it's always nice to have this so that when, when I say, well, what, what, else can I, what else can I do? What else can I treat this animal with? I can come here and I can look at this and I can go, well, maybe I'll try that and see if that works. So this is something like this is really nice to have. I mean, just write down your own notes and then print them off on a piece of paper and put them in your bar and see like I have another one right here that is a quick reference that I can go to if I have to look at something really quick. It's got all the medications that we use on a regular basis and the dosages. Um, so that, that's another good tool to use. And last but not least is the skid steer loader. Um, we bought this last January, so we've had it a little over a year, and it's been a huge, huge help in doing like round bales and shavings and stuff like that. So this has been like really a really invaluable tool to have. Um, the only thing I'm going to say that I don't really like about it is the fact that it tears stuff up. From that fact it's, it's been super helpful I mean we've used it for clearing brush we've used it for we moved the manure pile which took way less time with this than it did with borrowing someone's tractor um, 
So obviously, not everyone is going to have a tractor or a skid steer, but it's our number 10 on the list. All right, so thank you guys for coming along today on my um, 10 most things, 10 most used things on the farm. Um, comment below on what your 10 most used things on the farm, or maybe you can add to the list something that I might have missed that, um, that you find is most helpful on your farm. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.